let's talk about how, how you got into this because acting is a very competitive world. You know, you guys, they always say, if you want to be an actor, you got to be used to rejection because you're going to have going out for all these roles. You're not going to get a lot of roles. And your path to it was almost accidental because you did everything that your parents wanted you to do. You went to school. You got post-secondary education. You graduated, I think, computer graphics or something yeah, on yes, that yes. with honors. And you're on your way. And then all of a sudden, um, somebody dares you to go to an audition. How did that work well, out? No, it wasn't really there. It was more of a challenge. It was like, you know, I was, I was strapped for money, you know, and, you know, coming from a, a hustling mentality, yep. I had to focus on now doing the school thing and, you know, paying my way through school and lost my job, uh, you know. And so I started going door to door selling long distance phone service. Wow. And uh, that in itself was um, Humbling. interesting. <laughs> well, very much so because, you know, coming out of Jane and Finch, my circle was about this big and yeah. I, never, I never left it. Why would I? I didn't know anything else, right? Mm -hmm. So when I had to come downtown, it was my first time going into downtown at the age of 19. Wow. You know, I, yeah. it was, it was, I, remember, I remember getting a map and calling people up trying to figure out how to get downtown from Jane and Finch. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to go out of, you know, my comfort zone and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to encounter white folks and they might, they might have a problem with me, <laughs> you know? I might like, why are you at my door, kid? Uh, yeah, what I'm do you not, want? I'm not here to rob you, I just wanna sell you some long distance, <laughs> you know? So that was my concern. I really thought I was gonna be rejected, yeah, yeah. you know? So I was really nervous. You know, but it was it was a it was a good opportunity to yeah, make some good money. Practice your public speaking. Yeah, you oh, have yeah. to. I was going to do a lot of that. So, uh, yeah, practice my public speaking. But long story short, it was a total opposite. It was like, oh, how you doing, young yeah. man? It was always <laughs> these older Caucasian women. Yeah, like, you're a good looking young man. <laughs> are you? Are you a model? Do you act? You look familiar. I used to get that every day. I used to get so that that plant to see that hey and, and a co then the co-worker <laughs> said to me he's like you know lyric you 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 should look into that because he was a wannabe actor and uh, he wanted to get in and he's like I wish I got that type of you know yeah, reaction from people and uh, he basically said if I if I make more money than you today you're gonna go see this acting coach that I go to and that's what it was and he came in and you got to ring this bell when you make a certain amount of money guy comes in and rings a bell <laughs> and, and like, it's like you're gonna go see that acting uh, coach and the next day he brought that card and another co-worker jason says you know lyric i've always wanted to be an actor let's go we went down together and um saw this acting coach and that's the rest of it and he's still my coach to today still your coach he's still my coach